Hello everyone, my name is John and today I'll be showing you my room which is in Northwood 2 and is the economy option. As you can see, you are provided with these sorts of chairs. You actually get four of them. However, I do not recommend using them for studying. As you might have seen, I bought my own chair and that's because these are not exactly suitable for long hours of study. So you can see a nice couch. It is actually pretty comfortable. And then we have a coffee table over here. Your view will obviously change in between apartments, but every unit will contain uh, three windows. Please try to uh, <laughs> ignore the fact that I have a stack of boxes over there. And then one thing you may have noticed is my um, kitchen table looks kind of weird. That is because this is actually what is supposed to be the um, working table. However, I have switched the tables. Over here, you can see that we have a stove top, nothing fancy over here. And then underneath we have the oven compartment. Please note that you would need to buy your own tray for this. So as you can see, we don't have any dishwashers, so any cleaning would have to be on your own. And then we have a lot of storage. So we have lots of sections for you to put your stuff in. And then over here, this is where I have my trash can that I bought on my own. Unfortunately, Northwood does not come with any sorts of um, additional furniture that everybody uses. So here you can see the fridge. It has two compartments. It actually has a pretty generous uh, freezer section. And then you also have the regular fridge section. I would say um, this fridge is around five to six feet tall. So five and a half feet, I would say. And then moving into the bedroom, we see that we have a single bed, we have a mirror, and then one thing to note is that I bought my own light source because while the kitchen has a ceiling light, the bedroom does not. So this is the kitchen table that I was talking about. I have uh, made the switch because I prefer to use a monitor, but obviously uh, if you can fit, you can use the study table just as fine. This trash can I bought on my own as well. And then one thing you will notice is that you have a thermostat for controlling the heating in the apartment. The heating is done by these heaters that are attached to the wall. One of them is in the bedroom and then two are in the living slash kitchen area. As I said, I bought my own and here is a cabinet where you can uh, store additional stuff. This one I use for my clothes. You have three pretty deep shelves that are not shallow and actually pack quite a quite a bit of storage. Here we have a room that is just used for general uh, storage. So you need to get something like this where you store your dirty laundry and then you have a place to hang your clothes but you would need to purchase these hangers on your own. The apartment comes with a ladder and also a fire extinguisher. And then the shelves are super handy for all sorts of storage because they're really sturdy and they're quite wide. So they, they allow for ample amount of storage. Uh, you will notice that I have a lot of luggage and also I bought my own vacuum cleaner. Now finally moving on to the bathroom, you have a mirror cabinet that has some sort of storage inside. You have the general water closet and then you have a place for your towel and also hanging your other stuff over here. Um, this is what the shower looks like. The shower curtain is provided to you and you get a fresh one as soon as you come in. And uh, one pro tip is I would highly recommend getting a drain filter so that you don't have any plumbing issues. When it comes to wall sockets, you have two in the bathroom you will see that one of the switches also controls the air filter. Then inside the bedroom, you have two wall sockets over there. And then finally, um, we have a wall switch in the bedroom that actually controls those wall sockets. In the living room slash kitchen, you have four wall sockets. So two of them are over there and two of them are over there. Again, you have control over them with one of the switches while the other one controls the ceiling light. 
You will notice that the floor is sort of creaky and that is something you might need to live with if you're living in Northwood, but honestly it's nothing that is not bearable. You, your apartment will be uh, equipped with all sorts of detectors for light and uh, poisonous gases. Okay, and um, you might want to get some light bulbs in case you need to switch them. And obviously if you buy your own light source, which you probably will have to, you'll also need to buy uh, light bulbs for them as well. But that is pretty much it. So this is, again, finally without a lot of documentary, what the apartment looks like. like. Your door has two sorts of locks. One of them is a chain lock and the other is your regular lock. Hello folks, this is the laundry room. You can either come in using your card or you can use your keys to your apartment. And then coming in, you have access to wet wipes, some dry wipes. There are some amenities here. For example, you can wait in this table and you have uh, multiple washers and then multiple dryers. And the way you use these is using the Wash Connect app. So each of these machines have a number on them. And using the application, you select the machine that you would like to use and then uh, put in the configurations and just hit start. That's also the case for the washers as well. Here are the configurations. And then the washer also tells you um, how much time there is left for each machine. So yeah, this is a laundry. When it comes to a review, I would say that Northwood 2 is a pretty good place to live in considering the rent and the other options. It is relatively on the affordable side uh, considering that you get to live on your own. So all in all, I would recommend Northwood 2, but uh, do please check out the other reviews from my friends and hopefully you will be happy with your housing. Thank you.